YouTube. Today, we are checking out a new game, Halls of Torment. The developers sent me a key, and I've heard of this one a few times. I think it's a bit like Diablo 2, maybe, mixed with Vampire Survivors. Choose a hero. We have one choice. We're the swordsman. We have a Zwei handler? How do you say that? Physical melee. Cool. Click the button. And can I play with the controller? Very important quest. We can. Okay. There's a menu up in the top right. Volume looks decent so far. Cool. Through the door. Choose your destination in the Halls of Torment. We have one choice. One choice. Bam. Enter. Let's do this. Move, aim, attack. Ooh. Aim with the other one. You have to aim? We can spin around. Wait, to attack. I didn't actually see. Oh, there it is. Okay, wait. I'm going to do keyboard and mouse if I have to aim. Okay. That seems way easier. Ooh, I like it so far. So it's like a slower rotato, but where you actually aim. Metabolism, base regen, base block strength, base block strength, block strength checks before defense. If the block value equals the unreduced damage received from an attack, the chance to block it is 50%. Okay, screw that. Range or damage? Damage. So I see the little blue crystals. I also see crits for triple damage. 330 when I crit. I have some amount of base regen. I don't know how much. Crit bonus. The crits seem really good. More base regen. More attack speed would also be good. So the percentage by which damage is increased when dealing crits... I'm going to go attack speed because there's like no downside I can think of to that. Damage went up to from 110 to 112. HP, we have 505 max. XP, we're at 140 of 165. I don't... Ooh, what's that gold one? That's probably money. There's a knockback effect when you level up. Plus 10% force. Applies. Okay. Improves different parameters depending on the weapon skill ability. Please check their stats to learn how they are affected, which are affected by force. Base block strength. Six area sounds amazing. Does this effect? Does not affect the range of a cone. Could we reroll? Looks like no. I'm going to take this one. Except that my attack does seem to be a cone. Lame. Super lame. Get the money. Enemies with shields. Their shields get knocked out of their hand at some point. They're dropping more coins. Keep collecting our blue crystals. Oh, wait. Top right corner. There is a hand 420 things away. We want pickup range, force, base defense, none of these. Base defense reduces damage taken by a certain ratio. Negative defense increases received damage. Pickup range. 140 skulls, zero coins, 28 minutes, 29 seconds to go. Character stats, I see. Do I see? Cone area, wait a second. Okay. Abilities. No ability selected. I guess I'm just going to take the base defense. Cool. I do want to fight these things, but I also want to go up to the hand. And to break the barrels. And to collect the junk. We got a shield. Is the shield for a limited amount of time or a certain number of hits? Looks like it might be a certain number of hits. Oh no, limited time. Can I hit that thing? Ooh, wait, stuff's flying to me. Did I pick up a magnet or does it just 
once you reach a certain range. Slimes have an interesting move pattern. Spacebar brings up all of this. There's equipment, there's bags, there's traits and abilities, there's settings, there's quit, there's resume. I was hoping that there was a dash. Is there auto cast? Yes, right clicking auto casts, it's so good. Okay, that makes me so happy. Little things bring happiness and joy. Pick up, attack speed, and crit chance. Ooh, level five. Proficient stance, dexterity, that sounds amazing. Or crit chance, which sounds really amazing as well. Oh, but this gives crit chance, yes. Okay, I do want to kill this group of blobs. It just seems like a lot of XP all clumped up. Ooh, somebody with an HP bar. And I cannot increase my movement speed. Wait, was this? No, the hand is still far away. There's another thing, a scroll at 562 in the other corner. There's also some kind of weird crystal thing. I would like that. Hit the skeleton. Level up. Pickup range. Base block. Damage. Let's go. Or crit chance. Sounds amazing. 10% damage. Level 5. I like these crits so much so far. We're getting a lot of them too. They're not as good as Noida crits, but they're pretty solid. Slowly taking out that skeleton. It's happening. I'm taking some damage, but I'm close to full HP, so I don't really care. Base deep attack speed or, oh, main weapon. Since I only have a single weapon, this sounds amazing. 441. Big crits. Originally, we were doing 330 crits, so we haven't increased by that much, but we're doing them quicker and more frequently. Like we're critting more often. Has to be about to die. Bam. So this is that banner that we saw down there. Choose an ability. Astronomer's orbs summons metal orbs that circle around you and damage enemies. Orbs are indestructible, permanent, and increase speed with your movement speed. Or, Phantom Needles fires needles at random nearby enemies in quick succession. Multi-strike, which would be cool, increases fire rate. Arcane Splinters shoots short-range projectiles in a vertical spread pattern. Projectiles remain for a short while, dealing damage to enemies that touch them. I'm going to take this one. Summoning. Look at our orbs. And they get better with movement speed. Movement speed would allow me to go collect this other junk. Cavern Survivor. I didn't read that in time. Movement speed and range. This sounds great. Health plus movement speed. Not as good. Astronomers. Orbs 1. I don't know what this level... Is this saying it's a level 8 upgrade versus a level... I don't know. Don't know. But I want it. Enemies. More enemies. Perfect timing. Perfect. Could just be running full speed at the hand. But I kind of like getting some of the kills. We know magnets exist. The hand might be a magnet. So the orbs don't do much damage, but the fact that they pierce through everything... Does that fire hurt me? Probably. Looks like it would. And the orbs can crit, but they only crit for double. Oh no, these demon things are fast. Okay, we're 90 meters away. How's my health? It's good, I see this. Survive the haunted caverns until there are only 26 minutes. Only 26 minutes? That sounds like a long time. The demons are building speed a little bit, but not enough. Okay, we're like here. 
kill the demon things. Ooh, they dropped something, and it was a magnet. Let's go. Collateral damage plus 6% area increases the area of effect or, or the angle of an attack cone. Does not affect the range of the cone. Got it. So it does affect the angle. Bigger crits. I think I like this area quite a bit. It seems like these types of games like you to have lots of like multi-hit. Plus 10% damage. I really like the crits. With whatever weapon I'm using, the crits seem amazing. Ooh, demons. No, get away from me. The demons are bad. Bad things are happening. But we will get rewarded if we live. They're like keeping their distance from me. And then they charge in. I need to heal back up. But look at this crowd. Force, health and movement speed. I do like the movement speed. Base block strength. Force. We don't know what force... I think I'm going to take the movement speed because it works with the orbs and I like the idea of movement speed in games like this. There's a lot of junk to pick up. So that one thing was a magnet. That banner is an ability. Which would be nice. But even nicer is just kill all of these and collect all their junk. Oh no! Okay. Oh no! Bad things are happening. Bad things. I'm too slow. I'm too slow. Okay, but it shows me the attacks it's gonna do. We could get 20% more regen. Right now I have 1.0. This would be 1.2. 0.2. Ooh. Crit bonus. Do we just try to kill? Do we try to run? Try to run. Try and get down to that banner. The running seems kind of effective. It does. I like how they show you what the enemies are doing. Everything in this feels pretty solid so far. I see why it's a popular game in this genre. It would be really cool if it auto-targeted the nearest enemy, and there might be a way to do that, just so that I could play with controller. Yeah, it's nice to be able to play it this way, but this feels like a pretty chill game. To just, like, take your time, have a long run. Rotato, I get to play with controller, but that game's kind of stressful. It's like Nova Drift. It's a good game. It's like one of my favorite games. I'm hoping these orbs were pretty amazing. Completed sword. I can't read that while playing. Okay, I'm hitting stuff. I'm looking at too many areas of the screen, which is stupid because there's only so much to look at. The demons are a pain. I'm trying to slow down enough too so that I can get hits in. It's like right at the edge of my range though. A lot of the time. The demons are a pain. The butcher from Diablo. Not really, but kind of. Shield enemies are spawning like crazy. No, don't get hit. I was healing back up. Very slowly, but we were doing it. 128 meters. We can do this. You're telling me there's a chance. So it probably would have been better, I'm learning, just to like hang out in one area and collect the XP. What is this? Ranged or summoner or something. But we're almost here now. We're gonna get it. 30 meters. That demon might do some damage. Okay. Oh no, there was a guardian thing. Arcane Splinters, Lightning Strikes, strikes random enemies with lightning and stuns enemies surrounding the target. Hit enemies get inflicted with spark. Okay, Arcane Splinters. I want ones that pierce quite a bit. 
projectiles remain. Ooh, this sounds pretty good, actually. Let's do this, I guess. Plus 50% XP. Cool. Okay. So now I'm fighting like two bosses at once. One's low at least. The other one's dying quicker. That's a lot of shields. I wonder if I could get them stuck on terrain. I'll, I can. It did interact with it a bit. Okay. Things are going bad. Very bad. The demons are bad. Okay. I'm kind of losing that one boss. I do have the little ninja stars. Just kill this thing. It's so close to dead. We've done it! Give me that. Okay, so choose one item. Plus crit bonus. Kind of nice. Base block strength 20. That might be good. Plus 15 base damage. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know which of these is good. Also, what's up with this? This has a cooldown. The other one's just always going. Crit bonus plus 50%. Right now it's 300, so this would bring it up to 350. Base damage sounds like there's like no downside. We can fit two rings in theory. I want to kill that other boss. Base damage should be more consistent damage too. Right, if I loop back, which I have not been doing, then I could collect all the XP, which, again, I have not been doing. There's nothing I see on the mini-map. Plus 50 base health, don't care. Plus 4 base defense, if I have to. Attack speed, let's go. Oh, that's a slime. The slime spits splits into more little slimes. Not unexpected. Kill that boss. Dying quick. Just a mini boss. Okay. Ranged attack. Kaboom. Took way too much damage for that. More movement speed. Sounds really good. Force. I still don't know about force. I think we're doing a movement speed build. Mixed with other things. And I'm trying to circle back and collect the XP. If I break a bunch of those containers, some of them did have heals. At least one of them did. I haven't seen a container in a little bit. Attack speed minus projectile size, but that's just for the ability, I think. Yeah, it says ability. Plus 20% range melee or crit bonus. Let's get the reach. Reach sounds really good. If I can keep a distance, especially from the bosses. Sounds pretty amazing. I'm doing damage. That almost looked like a ring. I don't know what that was. So here's another boss thing. It has a shield. Just looks like a regular skeleton though, but as with a health bar. It's just an elite, I'm guessing. Something like that. Kill the crowd. Take them out. More movement speed. Ooh, base crit chance ability. Huh. Why does that number look so low? Area, collateral damage three. I feel like I have a lot of area. More of it would be good, but the movement speed feels like it's gonna actually save me maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. This barrel could have a heal. Hey, it had a little bit of heal. Not much. Hit 25 enemies with a single attack. Collect all of the junk. Oh no, those are some kind of demon dogs. More range, more crit chance. I think we go crit chance. Or base health, definitely not. Kill the demon dogs. Crap. 
I can, like, almost one-shot them, though. And we did just get 55 health. Good stuff. Still no little arrows showing up on the mini-map. If I could go collect this XP, that would be amazing. Magnet would be so good right now. Circle around. Green things. Plus 10% regen and defense. Nope. Defense. Yes, weapon damage. Or movement speed and health. Nope. That one. Go back, collect all the junk. Green slimes. Base crit chance plus 10% damage. Sounds good. More range also sounds good. Hit them. 666 damage when I crit. 222 base. The more distance I can keep, the better. Area up, pick up range, attack speed. Attack speed sounds good. 225. With 675 crits, that skeleton is still there. That looks like a big thing of slime. Maybe I should be clearing ahead of myself more. But the bigger crowd is behind myself. Just keep circling the crowd as they build up more and more. Okay. Base defense, area up. Area up. There was a barrel. There's a few barrels. We should get the barrels. I feel like the barrels could negate a lot of the damage that I've taken, in theory. Health is 364 of 602. Hey, there was a heal. Take some damage. 400 health. Still don't know what the difference is with those crystal things. They seem to be worth a good amount. Pickup range might actually be good, but movement speed sounds awesome. Movement speed. Then I can pick up if I can just move over to the stuff quicker. Ooh, what is that? Okay, big skeleton. Some kind of purple thing. Big skeleton. Right? Bonus, or range up, or force, which I still don't know. Okay, could I click these? No, to see what force does with them. We're level 23. Leaning towards range, but maybe crate bonus. I don't know. Holy purple. Like bowling pins, but... Okay, just get out of the triangle. Could try to go to the openings in it, but... Okay, and I did not get out of the circle. I'm like just too slow. To run without thinking just away from it attack speed but projectile size down but only for the ability or just damage just damage i wish i had a dash i hope this game has a dash doesn't seem like it does but i hope it does god i want to kill that big skeleton so much And to heal. Um, range up. Range up or just do damage. Just do damage. Level 25. Those purple ones. I think maybe they're good. I mean, they're purple. Base crit ability. I have no idea. Range. Kill that one skeleton. It just became a ghost. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? The ghost seems to be dying quicker. Break the barrels. But break the barrels while still facing the enemy. I moved in towards the ghost to avoid the purple. I do want that scroll. Power hitter. Okay, scariness. Game. Chill. 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 Phantom needles or lightning strikes. Let's go. Lightning strikes. Crit bonus, movement speed ability. Plus 15, I do have movement speed to go with it. 
Crit chance ability, area radius, base regen. Let's go with this one. Let my orbs get more of the movement speed bonus to go with my movement speed since I've been taking movement speed. Just kill the big one. Yes, the fire hits it. The fire does damage. Cavern Survivor. Stuff's happening. Can't read about it, but it's happening. Okay. Movement speed and health. Could take that. Regen and defense. Base defense. Why does this one have an arrow up? Don't know. I want the movement speed and health. We're gonna get healed up after we kill this. Bam. We could take plus 10 base defense plus 25% health. Plus 10, ooh, movement speed, yes. Or base block, I would like this. We also have a bag, weird. Cool. Hit through. Kill the ranged ones, as I almost get hit by them. There's a lot of enemies swarming. There's a lot of enemies swarming. I would like to go break these barrels. Look at that, heal. That's what I wanted. It's not enough, taking stupid damage. I don't have a good way to heal reliably. I'm in trouble. I was feeling good up until now. Killing that one enemy might have been a mistake. Level up. Do we take some kind of heal? Ah, uh, no. Attack speed, crit chance. This sounds amazing, but I'm about to die. Range melee. Let's go. Just clear my path. I'll fight ahead of me for a change instead of behind. My attack speed is not quite quick enough. God, there's a lot of enemies. Break that, and I needed heals. We're fine, break these. 122 HP. We got this. I see barrels, I want them. Nope, I knew that I'm not breaking through fast enough. Barrel, 47 HP. That's not the barrel that I'm looking for. I want a magnet so, so bad. This should break fire, which kills enemies. Might also hurt me, I have no idea. Peril, heal me. No? Yeah. We're doing it. What is the it that we're doing? I don't know. We're trying to break through. Break through. The slimes are gonna explode into more. Cheese! Cheese was a small heal. You know what? It was a heal. Saw barrels, can't go for them. These ones. Cheese, I would like that cheese. Small, oh, those are slimes, my bad. 97 HP, big barrel. Nope. If I could go pick up all this XP that I'm generating, I would level up so fast, I can't. I need a magnet, I can't get out, I'm trapped, I'm dead. Reach level 30. More movement speed? Yeah, but you have to be able to clear the enemies. Charging skeletons. Okay, but look at all this to pick up. If I can just break through, I'm dead. 10 HP. I'm alive. Break the fire. Haunted Caverns. Level 30 swordsmen. We killed 4,231 enemies, dealing 1.9 million damage, and receiving 2,100 damage. Tons of gold, completed quests, tons of quests. The next main one, acquire the trait, strength, something. Cool. Return to camp. That was only 29 minutes. That felt like a long time. We could get a ranged character, physical projectile. So now, if I look at this, damage 100, crit chance 20, crit bonus 65%. Wow, that crit was doing damage. Attack speed 0 0.9. Attack speed 0.95. Three projectiles piercing with force. Way less damage base, but way higher crits. This sounds like a fun character. Fast hero with high crit chance and multi-strike. Each level up. Base damage, piercing, bow bow. Movement speed, crit chance each level up. Regen, cool. Movement speed, 
faster than this one, but this one starts with block and base defense and tons of HP. Got it. Base damage up, base reach up, base area up, every level up, health and damage. So what did we do with this money? I'm going to choose the archer, but I want to go explore. We will do that next time. For now, that is going to do it for this first episode of Halls of Torment. I think I'm going to play a bunch of this game. And we'll see if it does well on this channel. Otherwise, I'll move it over to my main channel. Give me feedback. All that good stuff. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.